these people approaching. I honestly think she's just furious with me. I don't, I, I, I don't know what I've done. Why is it like every <laughs> fucking day we talk, woman? some other woman is furious at you? I, I, I keep hearing that. You're not besmirching your honor again after our conversation, are you? No, I, I've actually improved. Thank you, my lord. Very much a fish ox. Did she only give only you a spoon to eat Tiberius that fish head with? She didn't even give me a spoon. <laughs> that was you only being a chase. <laughs> Yeah. You're lucky I didn't accidentally swing at you guys when you ran past me there. I could feel you coming. Um, um, you're lucky you got out of lessons tonight. My dad comes to my aid once no, again. No, 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 just double it up. Do you want a way to hide a blade on you that I could give you or not? No, I want you to pay attention to me and train your ears to the conversation happening behind me. What? I'm not having water. I'm aware, I'm listening. Awareness. I need to get better. And make it not obvious that we're listening. No, really. It's about your spelling. You do realize that people is spelled P E O P L E, not P E E P L E E. Right, but everyone knows what I mean. No, it's not how writing works. Good. What's, What's the point of writing? Everyone already knows running. what I mean, uh, even if I spell it wrong. Race race happening. No, three days. that's not how that works. Because cause what if you spell uh, something wrong? What if you write a missive or a royal decree one day, and you, you mean to spell somebody's name incorrectly, and maybe the wrong town has... <laughs> you... Oh my god, my son. Well, it's says... <laughs> big... It's important. You can my hands like that, and I can, uh, I can only imagine. <laughs> The question is if you can. Oh. What the hell? Oh. Oh, fuck. Alright. Come on. How about it? What just happened? Uh, apparently, I think it was an elf. Dinner time another time, maybe. I'll be back. Looks like something. Come along. Uh. Shabuk. What just happened? Oh, hi. Not sure. Oh, no. Don't get stations. What? I asked how you are, you know, common pleasantries. Uh, existing, so it's, I can... Mm. You're not drunk, I'm really proud of you. Was it 12 steps no, or 6? I'm just curious. I got no problem with anyone joining, so long as... It was actually much so. harder for me to get drunk than people let on. Yeah. Unfortunately. Mm. Can't also skip them, bad things sometimes. Jesus Christ, Uncle. I am going to take my leave for the evening, young lord. Like oh. ran. So <clears> I'm going to be dealing with everything that you. The Lord feels like he needs to put me through. Then I must mentally prepare for silk and lace. Be safe. Take her. Good luck. Twist it. Twist it. Burn it all to the ground. Twist it. Yeah, twist it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you coming? <laughs> <clears throat> I'll What's up, probably have a task for me at one point. What? Or Thanks. Be it in the keep or outside. Oh my god. I'm prepared to kill this? everybody that sees me in this dress. No, like, like uh, this. Hopefully, oh, that's the problem. Earth it. You know, if it's any consolation, I can't do that. No, never mind. Basil, we appreciate you. Uh, no, no, no. You too, I uh, decided well, otherwise. Right. Huh? I mean, you're going to say it. You might as well say it. The woman is very. Hey, yo, I did. I did a very rare thing where I decided to Kyla, take my foot out of second. my mouth. Kyla, stand there for a second. No, finish what you're going to say. Put it back on my foot. Finish. Finish what you were about to say. Ooh, I would run. I'm sure you look great. You all were noble and know your manners. Did you really leave mm. all of that on that table? Did you really? I just mm. I step away for two seconds to talk to her. Ah. Uh, well, I thought you were making a run for it, to be honest. I'll leave you the bill. This one right here. I was just trying to finish your come. fish head. This one mm. should be the one. one more time, Shoba. Come for me one more time. Go ahead. I dare you. Clean it up. Finish your fish head. Clean up the mess. Right. I finished it. Oh, very much something I'm missing here. I will clean up the mess. Oh, you're confident. Compliment yes, yes, yes. me one more Thank time. Thank you. Is she adverse Thank to compliments? 
do it, see what happens. Okay, um... Does she need help with anything of whatever she's your okay. father's doing? This is just... I'm sure you look great. It's... <laughs> oh, oh, I, was looking for I briefly heard the name Kovas. Um, never mind. That's not really uh, involved. I'm... It's, Don't ever talk about the way I look ever again. Okay, I'm just saying, I happen to know him far too well. I know. She needs an easy way for distractions. Okay. It's it's okay. something else. I'm Elena. one person to ask. I learned something. Uh, okay. What? Uh, what? I got a gift for you. Sorry, 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 sorry. What? 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 Okay. Look, he has his, it? it's a thin little wrist guard, and he takes out a hidden dagger. <sighs> and he unbuckles it. I see. Put it on your sleeve. And you two better fucking come back. Of course I'm gonna come back. Well, sorry. Of course your father's gonna come back. No, I've still got your fucking ring, remember? Yeah, that's for you to give to my dad when I never really die. I'd like to give it back to you one day. That's not how it works. Just that ring was given to me to protect the family name. I'm obviously not having kids, so... That's for my dad. Mm. Will you make it home? I'll see you when you get back. Thank you for the risk guard. <sighs> She's gonna kill someone tonight, I bet. I, I just gave her the means to do it as well. I'm an accessory to murder. Yes, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm what you are, my lord. I mean, your, I mean, your house oh, colours are on it. Add it so. to the fucking list. <clears throat> I cleaned up all the mess. Oh, you did? Yes. <sighs> I was badgered for it. I don't badger, understand badger, anymore. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Oh. Badger, what? Badger, Marshall badger, badger, badgers? Badger, 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 mushroom. Did you know a badger doesn't give a fuck? Snake. That's a honey badger. That's different. <laughs> Snake. Mm. Snake. Badger, 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 badger. Why do you do this to me? I just I be around you and you just you do these things to me. <clears throat> what do you mean when I do these things? I, no I want to be a little I'm wacky finished. prankster around you. I don't know what it is. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. I pull the, the best parts out of you. Ah, uh, well, yeah. Okay. Actually, I have some news for you. We want to sit down and actually converse in a place where uh, someone's head might like a mouth. We can converse. Is this a private conversation or like a... Probably preferred. Let's walk and talk. <clears throat> walk and talk it is. <sighs> That's why I wouldn't do it. I go to bed. Uh. That's why I said if I really wanted to be an asshole. Well, I was able to return from Caserta today. I spent a majority of my day there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't enjoy the nobles there. Yeah, I don't enjoy the nobles. <laughs> Period. Yeah. Right? Carry on. Period. <laughs> Carry on, I shall, though. Oh, my. Well, I was speaking with your father last night about everything that I had been learning lately. Mm -hmm. And you'll want to hear some of this, I will say the least. To go inside, or...? Inside would be preferred. Oh. Why are you covered in snot? Don't want to talk about it. Oh. What are we doing? Tibbs is gonna talk to me about mm. something. Yes. Oh. Mm. Have fun. It won't be long. I'll, I'll, I'll fully hand him over to you. I'll, I'll carry him to you as well, if that helps. No need, I'm about to go to bed. There will be more time to hang oh. um, Alright. Sleep well. It's like she paints them on or something, you know? Mm, maybe. Well, just like tighten it around the top. There's no way that like. <clears throat> mm. Very tight. That's the leather. Mm. Why is Aunt's horse wedged in the doorway? That's not. I don't, that's not your father's horse. Why is one of our men's horse wedged in the doorway? It's sort of sliding towards you. I think. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ass. <laughs> <laughs>
<clears throat> All right, talk to me. Uh, right. Well, I was skeptical at first. Uh, uh, but I decided to reach out to your father as I learned things were getting worse, apparently, than I figured. Mm hmm. Bander, inform your father when the chance arises. You know what? I'm gonna sit like a gentleman at the table, not it's, across the room for you. It's kind of weird that we don't have them at the table. I think it's because there's so many people that end up in your house, to be honest. Yeah. It's like we need something to trigger chairs at the table. That would be nice, actually. <clears> hmm. <throat> ah. But, I learned looking more into the Institute and their activities. Apparently, they had sent mercenaries in like I had stated before, but, unfortunately, three of them had made a run for it. They had been carrying an artifact with them. I have confirmed it now. <clears throat> They made a getaway. It seems they fleed with one of the items that they had acquired. Hmm. I don't have to stress how dangerous an artifact in the wrong hands can do. This but... is from down below? Or from... Hmm. From Nymphs. And if these are just some randoms, then yeah, that's pretty, uh... It shows the extremely sloppy work that the Institute is performing in that space. Don't they have people specifically for this? I wouldn't know. All I do know, the people they are sending are going to get a lot of people killed the way mm. they're going about it. <sighs> okay... I had spoken with your father and informed him of everything and about that. Good. He was very uh, their activities down below. And he agreed with me we should do our utmost duty to find these men. To prevent them from any travesty happening to the dynasty, because right now, the entirety of this land's at risk as long as they're at large, roaming around un uncaught. <clears throat> yeah. With whatever that thing is, it could do fucking anything for all we know. I heard some details of its description now, so I have something to work with when I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. But I also learned the Institute is also pursuing them. It's expected of the artifacts with them. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of who finds it first now. <sighs> right. <clears throat> the way I'm thinking it... I won't be able to do much in regards to removing them from this land, but I can put them in a position of negotiation, possibly, will be my better bet. The reason is I found out that the group of elves apparently are still active. The unmarked elves? Elves from Eshmathros. <clears throat> right. I'm not... I'm not sure if they are unmarked, but they are moving for their country's interests, to say the least, down the, those preps. <sighs> if I can put them in a situation of a force... Cooperation favoring on our side because of their lack of capability and risk to the Radon dynasty. It would put us in a better favor to work with them. I mean, just recently, the um, Professor Sherbrooke's son's house was even broken into, paperwork stolen. Right. So why are we trying to negotiate with them? Why don't we just, you know, sneak up on them and take what they have? I might still attempt to try to apprehend some of the things they have. 
Some of the artifacts I heard is apparently one that is extremely dangerous. Apparently, from the words and I've heard from the whispers I've spoken to, they have apparently a staff that makes those around it submit to the individual wielding it. Possibly. That's kind of important. And you want to enter negotiations with dangerous. someone that has a staff that can control people. That is why I'm hoping to maybe acquire them before they move. Right. Or while they're moving them. Be difficult, but I know what I'm looking for now. Good. But if I can enter in a negotiation to record and recognize every artifact that they are passing through, and some say if the artifact is deemed dangerous to be destroyed. <clears throat> Hmm. <sighs> but that's if we can negotiate at all. The only reason why I'm humoring this, even after everything I've heard, is because the elves are still present and they're a larger threat than the Institute. I think it's worse that the elves have it. <clears throat> Agreed. Though both parties are dangerous in my mind, how the Institute utilize these items, so to speak. But if the elves have it, then it's more guaranteed of use and for their purpose in this totality. Mm. <sighs> the enemy of my enemy, so to speak. I see. Well, I'm glad you brought Arn in on it. It's going to be a lot easier to do things now. He's entrusted me to handle the Institute in its totality at my leisure. And there's something that might be useful to you both in the near future as well that he's agreed with and how I've been pursuing. That's why I've been gone every morning recently. I mentioned I was engaging with the nobilities of Cassetto. <clears throat> I understand some of them are on a list, so to speak. Mm -hmm. However, the funds and coin are not on that list and could be useful. I've been attempting to implant concerns and worries into them more so of the cyclops and the active of the uh, orcs especially yesterday with them so close to Nartus itself how close they are to the city of Cassetto that they are in greater risk every day passing there are no fortresses or nearby mercenaries that can move to assist besides the ones they have stationed there all reinforce so if they were willing to assist in the sponsorship of funding a fortress built just off the coast, near the elven border, the old watchtower, do you remember it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I spoke with your father, and having that converted into a fortress is possible. Using their funds, wanting to protect their assets, having a fortress built for... Well, the needs. Mm. I plan to use the fortress for what I need in the near future. Help guide and raise men. It'd be good to uh, put their coin to use for something other than themselves. Well, it would be for themselves and protecting their own assets. A cure or efforts and response that close to a fortress is in their best interests, after all. Right, right. But they will have no, no, no options of management. Mm -hmm. I'll fall entirely on myself. Smart. Hmm. I have Stefano assisting me of names of soldiers we plan to bring along with us. Those will be interested. And the work I plan to do in the future. <clears throat> I see. Well, if I could, I'd have lines of Astagonian Templars lining at my gate, but I don't have that, now do I? One thing at a time. 
<laughs> but things are moving very well. I've gotten more information about individuals. I am concerned about one thing I have learned today, though. I'm wondering if you can give me your thoughts on it. I've heard the name mentioned frequently. This Lord Fulgrith. What do you know of him? Where are you hearing this from? I heard the name from your father. I've heard the name from Miss Fay. <laughs> Um, and they refused to elaborate? Oh, they told me quite a lot. But I wanted your opinions and your thoughts, because I valued them. He was supposed to be an advisor. We knew him as Advisor Fulgrith to the king, or at least the king's son of Ireland for a while. But that man... He could, like, appear out of thin air. He could harden his skin in response to damage, mage, mage stuff, I guess. I don't know if he was covered head to toe in artifacts or or what, but he... I, I saw him shoot, like, a light thing out of his hands. I've... <clears throat> yeah, I know, I... Weird shit. Always a weird, slimy bastard, but I don't know. Never trust him. Sounds terrifying. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've been this person still. Him. Don't know. A concern. By chance. Right, well, anyone that can shoot fucking areas. light out of their hands probably is a concern, but I mean... I meant in our vicinity. I mean, he's a general man I will want to find eventually. Haven't heard him, seen what? him, heard tale of him since Adwick. Four years ago. All right. <sighs> but apparently, I think he has ties to the Institute, or at least he's worked with them in some way. So, who knows, he might fucking mm. show up down here, eventually. That is concerning, then. You wanna fuck him up? Any soul who dabbles in the arts of magic is a corrupt individual <clears throat> utilizing it for their own means. And by the way it sounds, this man's an extremely dangerous individual. Mm-hmm. I'd agree. Information is key before acting on anything, but this man will be... ...someone I will probably look for in the future, if possible. You'd be careful. I would not want to be anywhere near that man. No, most wouldn't. But unfortunately, my duties require me, so. I like your dedication. <laughs> oh. Trust me, most men regret it after a, after a few generations of it. <laughs> <laughs> but... I was just thinking of something, so, something uh, so thought that crossed my mind. Oh yeah. Hmm. I was always wondering when your father had mentioned with us to go on in my different place, how different my life would have been if I appeared in another town, another city. Uh. The tunnels and the underdark squirrel into tight passages here and there. You could turn up anywhere on the surface. Yeah, I think about stuff like that too. Uh, 
when I first met everyone. I get all in the first town that we were in. My original plan was to befriend everyone, so that when I stole for them, they wouldn't think it was uh, me. Uh, <laughs> ah, and how did that go? I, I actually befriended them, <laughs> and I didn't need to steal. Now. Oh. You made friends, and your life changed for the better for the right ones. Yeah, but like you, like you were saying, it could have very easily have been, you know, something else. Far worse. Yeah. I've seen many of our kin during my journey. Many of them aren't as nearly as lucky as you and I. <laughs> yeah. Some who venture from the Underdark, and some who were born on the surface. They die every day in the streets. Yeah. You up there yeah. tonight at the ball? I am unsure where your father's sending me. I just haven't gotten out of this yet. I haven't had the chance. Hmm. I'm to be whisked away with my QRF. Kept safe. Well, it's probably for the better. I know, I'm I just... Honest. Not being there and knowing that there's going to be danger, it's just, yeah. The future is uncertain. What will happen? <clears throat> if I can think of anything, Carla, I know things are hard, and you are still young. But the future, I think you may call forward will be a very bright one. I feel like you put way too much faith in me. <clears throat> <laughs> it is just me, my hope, more than anything else. Mine too. Ugh. <sighs> Now, enough of this dreariness. You eat, you ate today, so I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. You didn't get stuck with a fish head, then, unlike myself. Will baby fish you fish head? I swear, Basil has Basil has it out for me now. Any time I am speaking to a woman, I swear she wants to have my head. <laughs> yeah, every day I hear that you're pissing off someone else. I'm not even... I literally buried the hatchet with Basil. We had a calm conversation. A good conversation. The next day, then, she's doing this to me. Maybe she's teasing you. I don't even know if it's teasing. It seems very viperous in her words, I swear. Hmm. I don't understand women. I wish I could offer you something, but... I understand some women. That's an understand jealousy of women. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways. Oh. Either uh, or. I am going to go uh. slink into the shadows and do some nefarious shit. <sighs> oh, and I'm left into the bright lights of the night. You can go talk to Basil. Oh. Oh, no. oh, I don't want it. Be stuck with another fish in my pocket. If I go to the to your father's escapades with that, I will not be able to escape. Is that a fish in your pocket, or are you happy to something? Yes, <sighs> absolutely. Yes. If I don't see you and you do end up going up there, good luck. Try and keep everyone safe. <sighs> do the best I can. It's gonna hoard without my sword. No offense. I'm, I'm decent with my hands. 
<sighs> well, but if a blade comes from my throat, I don't have any armor for it. Just, you know, I'll grab a I'll grab a nearby plate and hope for the best. There you go. To start. <laughs> God, I like exactly. <clears> Throw. <throat> If right, you get the chance to do that, you fucking you better. <laughs> you throw a plate at them. If I see assassin goes for you and me in the tavern, I'm grabbing the plate and I'm whipping it at them. Yeah, okay, Captain Grodia, whatever you say. <laughs> see you, Tibbs. Captain Grodia? <laughs> hmm. The day. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you so much. No, you've helped me a lot, Miss Torky. I'm going to help you too. Hmm. Oh. And she's gone. Assassin! <laughs> Sorry, fuck Kyler, I have to scare him. Tiberius, get her! Stop. She's killing me. She's ki <laughs> You are the worst. <laughs> I don't have a plate, my over. lord. I can't whip it at her. Um, see, I'm the I'm the nice one because I actually get the lantern that I can point at the ground and not at y'all's eyes. <laughs> fuck was that? Why'd you do that? It's pointing at the ground. <laughs> What? No, it's pointing at the ground, silly. No, there was a different well, light here for a split second. Oh. Ah, it's over there. There it is. It's floating, floating light. <laughs> Go with the light. Oh, it's gone. That is not drowned oh, magic. Okay. We cannot just smite it. Um, it's gone. Where, where did he go? Oh, okay. Uh, anyway. It's still there. Uh, oh, now it's moving. Well, Clyder, well, Clyder I just wanted to tell you that um, oh, at the front of the gates, so I dropped off the second load, so there should be only one more load left, and then everything will be here. Okay, great. For the walls. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. I'll, I'll let you later. I want to head home for the night. All right. Ride safe. Yeah. We can, yeah. Be safe. Enjoy your ride. <sighs> I'm gonna put this on it and make it look like a headlight on it. <laughs> what? It's a light you do that on the, to the head. Whole thing? Why would you put a light on the head? This of is a why horse? we need That's unicorns so, so we can hang the lantern off the top. No! You yeah! wouldn't desecrate a, a horse that way. You wouldn't desecrate a horse. Uh, what's. <laughs> you wouldn't download a handbag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I would. <laughs> Get away from them because I don't want to blind them. Sick bastards, all of you. Yeah. Could a sick bastard do I'm this? Listen, I'm not even. I'm not a knight or a lord, so. Come at me! I have you, my lord. <laughs> I got you. It's fine, my lord. I saved you. It's fine. You'll be okay, my lord. Draw magic, come back! <gasps> Thank you, Torty. I fixed you. You're welcome. You've given me new life. <laughs> what the fuck? Hi. What? What? No, I'm just antics. No worries. Here. Okay. <laughs> My minute. Oh no, not again. Oh no. <laughs> Where did my go? You okay? I'm not I'm not I need to go get drunk. Oh, there's. Uh oh. I guess my widow crashed. I'm fucked. Yes, they, they, they abandoned you. They ran for the hills. I'm your widow now. <laughs> <laughs> If you want, <laughs> what, what are you? What? <laughs> all right, all right, Mister Nobility. Fine. All right, you you want to go? Let's go. Oh, you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let's fucking go! Oh, God. No, no, cease, cease at once, my lord. Like, you cannot take his punches. They will splatter you all like a here. mosquito. I realize. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh shit, I hit it again. What are we doing? What's up? Uh, you're just double showing off. 
Anyway. Anyways. I was just stopping by <laughs> to figure out if you figured if you thought of any specifics that you wanted. If not, what do you that's mean, fine. What do you mean specifics? Well, if you can't think of it, then that's fine. Okay. It's like, you know, low profile, sleek, cool. What do you define as cool? Anything that will make the chicks the be like, something. Wow. Wow. <sighs> All right. Well, I think I have a plate that I need to clean up broken pieces of. But oh, aside from that, is that backflip? I wish you all a good night. <laughs> good night, Tang. It oh, was not night. that backflip. It was a, it, it was actually making sure that someone went to bed. Oh. I reached oh, down no. and slapped a table. <laughs> you knocked them out with a plate, <clears throat> Tang. That's dangerous. He, we, I says, I said, my lord, it's the most effective weapon. We I just <laughs> totally saw whipping plates at people. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with that. Anyway. It's getting around. Don't worry. Alright. Bye, Tang. Bye, Tang. Bye, Tang. What are you two up to? <laughs> oh, bitch. What? What? Nothing, nothing. It's just such a formal wave, you know? I didn't Being mean the to, I to just you. wanted to have the phone. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you want to see something funny? Oh my god. Yeah. If, if, if your face was like a, a... If your hands were like this, and you had like two buttons to press, mm -hmm. hit the, uh -huh. the, the one that like would mm -hmm. open up, you know, something that you could, you know? Okay. Yeah, and okay. I, I need you to look right here. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? What has happened? What is happening? What? What is happening? What do you mean? I understand. No, similar thing with Venora, actually. Um, <clears throat> you, you should look above her I and will, see I what will. her... Um, yeah. yeah. What's wrong, Tibbs? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, now I'm sad that I upset him. You should wear Tibbs. like a badge of honor. It's okay. I didn't mean to upset him. I just thought it would be funny <laughs> to point it out. <laughs> Amazing. That's way too much fun. Yeah. My witnesses. I hope you're not attempting, like, Moira. Is that a coup? Are you attempting a coup? Coup. I'm not. I am not vowed to him. That's true. What the fuck? I thought you. Oh. Ah, that he didn't keeps happen. such a dangerous individual <clears throat> so close to you at all times, and he's not even hired. I keep you close to me, don't I? I'm not hardly dangerous. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me be honest. The danger to everyone around you, Torty. Dangerous. Mm. <laughs> yes. I am a danger to be uh, annoying to everyone. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I take that oh, very pridefully. That. Neither of you caught that. Okay, good. Are you talking about? I didn't hear you. Huh? You're saying no, to say? Nothing. I didn't say anything. No, I didn't say shit. <laughs> you talking shit? Maybe I am. What did you say? To Guess me? what? The floor is lava. Oh. oh, 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 there we go. There he is, fixed. All right, I should go because this is getting actually ridiculous. Bye, puppy. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Stay safe. Yeah. <sighs> God, what God. Doing now? Oh, um. <laughs> It depends how, uh, what are you up to? Uh, 
absolutely nothing. <clears throat> I'm going around trying to find what, what people are doing so then I can decide if I want to pester them while they do that thing. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not doing much, although I'm supposed to be leaving town here in a second. Leaving town? Where are you going? I'm not allowed to say. Okay, is it noble stuff or other stuff? Noble stuff. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, don't be so disappointed. Mm. pointed Well, I mean, um, I, every time I'm about to get done with you, you get robbed away. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, bye. The fuck. <laughs> no, no, you don't get to do that. <laughs> All right. What's the tavern looking like? I have no idea. I haven't even been at the tavern like all day. I haven't eaten yet today. Oopsie. I'm hungry. I yeah, just remembered. Let's get you something to eat. <laughs> I can make myself a little panini. A tortini. Uh, a tortini. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I just pictured me just really small right there, you know. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> let's see. Oh, my Triton's knocked out. Oh. God, I wish that was me. <laughs> knocked out? Yeah. I can give you enough alcohol, and it can happen. Doctor? Anyone? I'm a, I'm a woodworker, I'm not a... Not, mm -hmm. not so... Is... Oh, okay. Something the matter? Anyone doctor? Man fall from the building. He has... A critical injury on both of his legs. Okay! Something happened at the bridge. Uh, you should uh, take him to the clinic. Mr. I, I left yeah, no one there. Is, that, then no, we should go in. Back. What? No, that's not. There should be people inside for okay. sure. If you don't oh, do sorry, that hi. in the future, knock really hard. Basil gets upset when people take shit. This is, is why I asked. Why that's you not, not tell me cool, this? Not cool at all. What? No, I. You said the the I'm lock. Sorry, I really... Wait, did you did you check I, if it was locked or? Okay, well, help yourself no, in the okay, future no, by not no, helping no, yourself. No, okay, no, Basil no, will no, cut no, off your hand. Like, I, I, you a panini? I would think Basil and I have I got a better panini. relationship than that. Oh, well, still, she's so sick of people coming into her tavern and taking her stuff, even if they're paying for it. It's not their tavern to run, you know? What if there was a price increase and they don't know? I would have made a... Dead. You're right. Yeah. Oh, well, what would you like? What the fuck? You're not no, allowed back no. there. You just said no. you're not allowed back there. I am. I am employed. I got paid yesterday. So I'm employed. You're built different. <sighs> I'm broke, stupid. You're built wrong. Um, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, I am. Look at me. <laughs> That's what people say to me all day. But I think I'm cute. Are you okay? Yeah, why? Okay, do you want any food? I'll take a drink. Alright, what would you like to drink? What are you offering? We got wine. We got rum. Why did you shrink? <laughs> Why are you short now? Do <laughs> you think? All right. Um, okay. <sighs> we got cider. We got water. We got grog, rum, ale, mead, pipe mead, wine, anchor, bloody anchor, moonshine, jalab, <laughs> fine wine, one alcohol, please. liquor. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I wonder how much the moonshine is. 
tonight seems kind of a moonshine kind of day. What's your name, Miss? Um, I'm Leona. It's nice to meet you. I I don't think I've talked to you before. Pleasure to meet you. I work at the bathhouse. Well, <clears throat> like, likewise. More fish on roof anyway. So the, the bar, the good bar. Doot, doot. Forty copper, please. What and there's it? your bloody anchor. Oh. I put it in the fancy cup just for you. <clears throat> How much is the moonshine? Moonshine is uh, fifty. You want what's, some of that? What's in the bloody anchor? Uh, Jalab plus rum, I believe. I'll take some moonshine. All right, I'll be right back now. She, she means fifty copper, right? Yes. Not fifty. I would, I would hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, this is going to be a very expensive gift. Ta -da! Thank you, Dottie. You are welcome. <laughs> you left that for me. It's moonshine. You said it's a moonshine night. <clears throat> Thank you. Of course. Hop, hop. Hee hee hee. Panini time. <sighs> So, read any good books lately? Um, no. Still can't read. <laughs> oh, you're right. Still? Mm. What happened to your lessons? Mm-hmm. Um, every time someone starts, they stop. So they just <laughs> don't go. Show me your working. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. well. You know, it's actually mm -hmm. not that good. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I think it's doing just fine. Thank you very much. <clears throat> it's okay. I know just enough that I can sometimes kind of sort of make out some words sometimes. <clears throat> I'd offer to teach you, but my way of learning has been very different, I would assume. Hmm. And how did you learn? Uh, every time I did something wrong, I'd get my hand smacked with a ruler. Or a spoon or something. Oh. That sounds about right. I don't know I learned a lot of stuff on the ship. Except it's usually was like, um... <clears throat> not a ruler, but yeah. Mm. What's this sexton? Mm. Is that a thing we have yet? A sexton? Yeah. What? Nothing, never mind. We haven't discovered <laughs> that technology yet. <laughs> what? It's a thing for a, a boat, but we haven't discovered the technology yet, apparently. <laughs> See, the worst thing is that word sounds so familiar. It's, but, a, um... it's like an eyepiece, and you're supposed to use it for angles, and... But we don't have that technology yet, so oh. shut the fuck up, Torty. Oh, I just spent so long arguing with Sanders yesterday. How he thinks that our, we live on a, a rock, like a sphere, not a like like, like not a flat plane. It was so weird. Who won this? Debate? I was talking about how we actually go. Who, oh, I don't know. But he was saying that we go around the sun, and the sun doesn't go around us. And I'm like, what? Oh, the, um, does it matter? You know? Does anything matter, though? I mean, 
mean, sometimes you learn stuff that is really smart and good to know. Like, for example, which side to be on the mountain when it starts to get cloudy because the mountain squeezes out all of the rain on the clouds, and that's why sometimes deserts are on the other side. You know, I was, I was, believe it or not, having a philosophical talk with Aka today. Really? It was... They have a lot of interesting questions. Huh. I'm just talking about morality and, and law and the difference between doing something because it's right or doing something because the law says so. It kind of pisses me off at how fast she learned how to talk. Meanwhile, <laughs> I've been struggling for months to try to figure out how to write. And I'm like, that's it's not fair. Different I feel like talking should be harder. Talking, you just have to mimic the noises, right? Writing, there is flourish and I there guess. is different types. And you have to rearrange things. And some things are spelled, they sound the same, but spelled different. Like there, there, and there. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that was the one that I saw in Vezran's books, and I was like, the fuck is this? Mm -hmm. Hated that. Hated that. Yeah. That was awful. Yes, maybe. Oh, okay. Oh. But yeah. Oh, I guess. Well, and it's also always so weird, because, like, Akka's always understood people, even if, like, she hasn't, like, spoken. So it was kind of funny. They're like... Someone fell down the well, and she'd be able to say yes or no, you know, so... <laughs> I'm just killing my friends. Maybe she's further away there than there is. hear that for you. Thanks. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> hey, um... How do you like the bloody answer, anchor? Lady? <laughs> Please don't let that be the way you know me. Yeah, that's... I have many other notable features about me. I'm Torty. Hi. Hello, Torty. Can I get the ale? Whatever he wants. He's having yeah, not sure. good night. I I mean, man, that's <laughs> great. Let me try some. Other than All that, right. yeah. Ale plus what? Yeah, an ale, yeah. Oh, okay, two ales. All right. Uh, 15 each, 30 together. Okay. Do I look pompous? I just realized I probably look really pompous. <laughs> sure. I don't know yeah. if she can't see much of you. Has, do I look pompous? Do I sit like this? Feels like easy way does to drop like, the list off. Yeah, does he look like fancy Not person? Really. The answer is yes. Hmm. You just look well, oh. well, maybe with the goblet. I mean, it's the goblet, okay, isn't it? Well, yeah. The, the cup, yes. It's the cup. The, the cup. She she picks the cup. It's mainly the... <laughs> oh, it's mainly this. Move. It's doing are, you, are you sure you should and then, sit like that? Hmm? Oh no, this hurts. Thirty copper, please. But I was making a I was making a point. Thank you. <laughs> you guys want to see this magic trick? Or making what point? That you can put yourself in time? Yeah. You know, you move on. Nice work. Did you All want right. food or drink? And then... Oh, I, I, I okay. that. Okay, and then you look um, obvious. No worries, just making sure before I sat down again, because that's the most annoying thing, you know? I don't yeah. think just anyone can do that. While you're up, Tori. No. <laughs> do, do I look... I look fancy oh, no, you, now. You have to. Sure, you have to sit down, and then I mean, do you not see what I? So you look. You see, the, the legs are. It's part of the the, but the legs. But he has small, skinny it. legs. It's... I don't. I don't think I can okay. do that. I mean, your physic. You can like. All right. Like as well. So does he not move or? What? Do, do they not move then? Because, like, you're... Do you, do you want to make okay, a yeah, no, then that you can... No, I just saw. I'm just saying you're acting like that they can't. But since they can move, then you can... Did you want an orange? That, is what I'm saying. Uh, what kind of question is that? I don't think I look as graceful. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you an orange. 
I've been wanting to fucking switch to Sevatar since I left the house. Thank you, Torsia. You are welcome. <sighs> cloudy night again. It's so cloudy lately. What's the saying? Surprised it hasn't started raining yet. Something about red at the night and you're gonna, like, fight. And then mm. if you've got morning... Mm, no, 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 no. You have to... <laughs> something. Red in the morning, sailors take warning. Red at night, sailors the light. What are they doing? Uh, it just means smooth sailing. Because if you see red in the morning, that means there's a lot of clouds where the sun is rising. And that's most likely where all the clouds are coming from, and that's going to cause rain. But if it's red at night, aka sundown, there's clouds in the area and stuff, that means that most likely the storms are already past. you got clear skies ahead of you. So it's about the cloud, it's not about, like the bed or your underwear yeah yeah no no it's about the clouds because the clouds that make the sky red clouds don't make the sky red the sun does well the sun makes the clouds make the sky but if the clouds weren't there then it wouldn't be red <clears throat> is it strange it more bisexual it... Hmm. is it strange being the the smart one in the conversation <laughs> It's actually, uh, well, I mean, I'm always a smart one when it's relating to water <laughs> stuff. People always are like, oh, you're such an idiot, Torty. No, I just know the things you don't. Ignorance does not mean that you're stupid. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Hi, Sanders. Ow. Is, no Sanders, right you had a face. you have a critically injured man right there that could not get into your clinic. Do you mind? Uh, where and why? It's this man whose oh, legs oh, are like putty. Oh. Hi. No, okay. Right. So the bre I so if I have to carry bridge. him, I'll bring him in. Mm, she's there. Why, oh, why wasn't he? Wait, hang on. Why wasn't he allowed in? Is the question. I uh, did. I the assumed, door was closed. I assumed they knocked. I did. Yeah, we so knocked, I was on right? the bridge, and then it was on the ground, and then... Alright, listen, just help me carry him. Mm. You get one arm, I'll get the other. No oh. need. Or... She's a big lady. She's fine. Right, just be careful. You don't want to mess up the fracture any more than it already is. Well, hey, a little throw knife like is tonight. in your orange. Let's get him inside. A tiny little piece of paper. Uh, oh, up. It's a little bumpy. Uh, oh, you can't read anyway. I don't know. I'm trying to hide it from you. Yeah, yeah. No, you can. Good. Uh, it says in thieves can't anyway. Anywhere other than the tavern. Got a dip. Oh. The orange starts to sag a bit as the place where the small throwing knife <clears throat> entered it hisses ever so lightly. Gonna Ooh. take that not as an Be insult. Careful. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You stay out of trouble. Have a good night. And you. Uh, well done.
Tonight is not the night for me. You say that every night I come across you. Hmm. I'm not sure why you're following me. Follow me, Sarah. We're not there yet. Hmm. So I just like to check up on my conquests here on Earth. Ah, uh, a conquest, am I? I see. It was fun while I lasted. Mm. Yeah, it's fun. You didn't seem to complain. Mm. Well, complain a lot, but still. Mm. What time Bye. for you? Get lost. Yeah, sure. So, so you send <clears throat> Nafna to come speak with me. What do you want? Ah, uh, to be fair, I also sent Sarah. <clears throat> um, got a way to kill a bunch of dread knives if you're interested. Way to kill a bunch of dread knives. If you're still into that. Of course. It's not like it's something that I'm actively pursuing. Mm. They come across me and they die. There's one bitch I have Nafna trying to get rid of that's very resourceful. Apparently she survived. It's actually part of it. Say again? That's actually part of it. <clears throat> part of what? How this is going to work, it's essentially setting a trap. Well, go on. Explain yourself. Should we walk and talk? No. Fine. I made contact with this bitch, by the way, and it turns out she is the person that I am after. One of the people on my list that I gave you at the start. One of these Daltones? Yes, the female. Obviously. Mm. <sighs> she apparently was also crossed by these dread knives as well, and she has a vendetta against them. I don't know if I fully believe her just yet, but either way, we can use her as bait. She's actually offered herself up to be used as bait. And you trust that? No. Not fully. Which is why I come to you as well. <clears throat> I'm gonna run her through a few tests to make sure that My she... My advice. Kill her, be done with it. I thought that too. But she can offer us more. I can get to her brother through her. Your line of thinking is so... Soft and submissive. You don't need to go through anyone to get what you want. You just have to reach out and fucking take it. You know who these people are, you know how they operate. Why dance around and play games? I haven't been here in 40 plus Why years. Why use someone to get what you want? She has, and she knows current information. Hey. Whereabouts, names, identities. And I haven't been down to the Underdark in 2000. I'm sure I could tie a few matrons up by the throat and leave them for the rest of their dominion to find. Come on. Killer instinct does not leave you. You were a rat. You grew up a rat. The streets are your home. You know how to survive them. I do, and I figure this is the best way to do it, to handle it. If we set this up right, we could... Butcher dozens of them, easily. I only came in in the back half of this plan. Don't look at me that way. This is what you're wasting my time for? He asked. I delivered. That's it. I asked you to kill her, and you failed. 
To be fair, she's very slippery. But you see fit to deliver me this half-assed plan. I did not know the plan. He wouldn't tell me in advance. He said he would present it in front of both of us. Do not Why let I'm the here. years of my kindness make you forget who I am. Do right. not fail me again. I wouldn't dream of it. Not for this fucking plan of yours. Skip the theatrics and the build-up. What is this bitch to be used for, and why do you think she'd be good for it? Well, aside from her, like I said, knowing the in intricacies already, she knows her brother, and if her brother <clears throat> knows that she's here and still alive, he'll send people, or he might come himself. If he knows that she's still alive and I'm still alive, and we're working together, that will send even more people. And what happens when things don't go according to plan? That's why I work as... Because they wouldn't say, find out I'm here. <clears throat> They're not coming. Yeah, that's why I use myself as an intermediate between you two, or your group and hers. That way, if it does go south, it lands on me rather than all of you. Mm, what happens when the Dread Knives start picking off everything you love in Gerba? Come here, dog. Hmm. Really? Turn the lantern off and come here. <laughs> it's like walking through the wolves in the night. But you have no idea. Come here. Don't be such afraid. I need you to do me a favor because I'll be busy for the rest of the night. Be a good boy and find Sarah. And let her know I have a job for her soon. That you'll be able to go with her on. Be lots of fun. Alright. Sounds like fun. It will be. Now go on. You don't want to be seen with a bunch of evil drow in an alleyway. Oh, please. Sergeant I can't see it all. Alexanders. It's getting a bit weird that everyone's starting to know my full name now. Alex. You really have a job for him? He's not perfect. Back on at least? But he's obedient. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Face it away from here and leave. <laughs> Soft ass, that one. Where were we? I just laid it all out for you. Basically, we bring as many of them here as we can. I'd work as the intermediate, so that way if it does blow up in our faces, it only goes to me and doesn't fall on the rest of you. I know how this works. And what happens if she double-crosses us? Or starts picking off people close to you, because I'm not going to help that. I'll handle that then. I don't think you really care. Very well. <clears throat> hmm. You know me so well. It's been a couple of years. Perhaps. Hmm. Maybe, maybe this can work to our advantage. I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket, but... <clears throat> it's entirely possible it might... play out differently than I suspect. 
Though that woman... She's crafty. Mm-hmm. I'd be careful what I trust. Yeah, that's why I'm putting in these stop gaps. Doing what I can to minimize damage if it goes poorly. Mm. And I say she was telling the truth. And she helped you. You're not going to let her go still, are you? See how useful she is. Oh, he's She's soft. our problem. We play the game. She has her use, and then she dies. She's my list. My life is mine. We agreed on that at I the don't start. Give a shit what you say? No. That was before you gave me this plan. Show me how fucking soft you are. You're not planning to kill her. Stop gaps. You look more like you're hoping that she'll prove you wrong. Because you don't have the stomach to kill her. This one's seen you talking to them. Mm hmm. How else am I going to get her on board? How else am I going to use her as bait if I don't talk to her? Don't try to be smart with me, you fucking child. You're barely as old as one of my fucking toenails. I don't want to hear it from you. You're showing signs of being soft. Soft people in Gradia get slit from breast to belly and bleed out like fucking dogs. I would think you would know that by now, considering what you've told me. I know what I want. We'll see. If it goes well, I'll reconsider. I told her she has to be fucking useful. So we'll see what comes up in the next couple of days. I'm hoping for a strong useful. point I can hit. Your idea of the useful and mine are very different. But we'll see. We will if see. she fucks up, you kill her, yes? Definitely. And if I'm not around, I've asked Sarah to as well. If she can't do it, by all means, she's yours. <clears throat> That one will tear Sarah apart with ease. I won't fall for the you. tricks next time. I'm ready. And she better not fuck up. If you're so serious about this, then perhaps a little information for you is a sign of continued goodwill. After their whole operation fell apart here and not is. They've moved to adjacent provinces and started trying to evacuate what goods they still had via carts and warehouses. There's a massive stockpile of Serenity hidden somewhere in Karano, and the same in Garbazra. If you destroyed those, killed your Daltone's lieutenants, I'll get his attention pretty fast. If you decide to go after it, I'll send Sunny and Lotus with you. <clears throat> it's quite the trust. Or it's insurance. There it is, and make sure you get it done. There it is. Yep. <laughs> I'll make it happen. Good. When there's nothing to worry about. Anything further? Lord Aired Heart. <laughs> Not from me. Good. If you need me, find Sunny. She always knows where to find me. Easily.
That's about as much support as you're going to get. I figured. <clears throat> Thanks. Yeah. Make sure you mean it. About killing her. I wouldn't want an enemy of you again. Stockpiles of Serenity, Carano, and Carbazra. There must have been far more Serenity in Nautis than you realize. Likely, when you enacted your plan with your father, some of the Confederate forces that were assisting the Capitano either tried to break and run with what resources they had. Or perhaps it is indeed Deltone's men. Either way, you'll feel better off with it being burned and destroyed, but if you can get his attention, make him come to you even, or at least wipe out those loyal to him. It's quite a risk. Part of you is hesitant. Part of you pauses in these conversations because it feels... <sighs> feels like Blint's talking. Feels like you're sinking back into those ways. Not because you want to, but look what you're dealing with. Look at the kind of people you're dealing with choices you're being told to make, forced to make. You don't want to be that person anymore, but you're also not willing to watch everything that you've struggled for so far to fall apart. Refuse. You refuse. Already heading out? I thought you'd be gone by now. No, it's late. Probably late, about late. an hour from now. <clears throat> right. I'm sorry I couldn't stay for the entirety of dinner. I had to deal with that issue. Yeah, that's alright. <clears throat> you free now? I am. Gotta run something by you. Sure, if you wish. As long as I'll let go inside or go somewhere else. Either or. Good night, Miss Tony. Good Stay night. out of trouble. I'm going to bed, so unless something's in there, I'm okay. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Anyway, private. Very well. As you wish, my boy. <clears throat> You would see a pot's been thrown against the wall. 
You convinced her yet? Yep. It looks great on her, like I said. She refuses to come out of her room until it's time, so I'm afraid I can't show you. That's fine. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll hear all about it when you two get back. <clears throat> From her, probably about how much you hated it. Yeah. I wasn't going to uh, talk to you about these things unless I, you know, had to, like we talked about. But, um, I just kind of need to talk to Dad rather than Lord Erhard or the Marshal or any of that. All right. The father's listen. <sighs> right. Um, my people have discovered some store locations of Serenity in uh, Kabazra and, uh... <sighs> no, not Kabazra. Fuck. Serenity? There's two cities nearby. I'm sorry, I'm blanking on their names right now. I'm tired. Kabazra and Corono? This is the closest outside Palamon. That would be it then. Kabazra and Corono. Store stockpiles huge amounts, more than we thought was possible. Um, the suspect is that when the Capitano, uh, when we dealt with all that, a few of his more higher ranking lieutenants or people closer to that sort of stuff bailed <clears throat> when they realized it was going south and tried to take their product out. I intend to go there in the next couple of weeks and burn them to the ground. Well, now hold on. That's something that would have to be handled with care politically. We can't just go into a council-held city and burn something to the ground, uh, nor another province. It wouldn't be above board. It's not, it's not wise, my boy, if you get caught up in something. My hold here is tentative as is. <clears throat> I, it's not something I'd be able to pull you out of. I know. I wouldn't expect you to. I would try everything in my damnable power to do so. Resort to force if I might. I can't have that stuff around on, and if it goes well, it's... It could bring people here that I need to get rid of. If we go through the proper channels, I, I, they'll hear about it, they'll bail it. You know they will. You know how it works here. And what if this never ends, Kylo? I never wanted to say that to you, but what if this never ends? What if the people you're looking for avoid you? Stay behind their walls, behind their men. I'll what if they go like out ticks. of their way to ensure... That's how you're going to spend your life. It shouldn't take long. But what if it does? If it's not... And is it worth dying over? If it's not handled by the time we have to get on the boat, then it'll stay here. Or it'll come after me, but I won't come back unless I can. I'm more worried it's going to kill my son. 
I know you're smart. You can handle yourself. And you've been involved in the underbelly of this godforsaken nation. And you know how people do things. But no one's invincible, Kyla. This isn't a night killer, it's not a, <clears throat> a duel, it's not an army. These are, these are people that'll wait until you're in your weakest moment and, and poison you. Or wait until you're, you're laying on a beach with your loved one and, and, and stab you both to death. <clears throat> these are people I've already been at that point with for years, Arn. It's always been like that. But, but we're in their territory now. We have been for a while. You don't understand what I mean. <clears throat> the people here that matter, they have authority. They're corrupt. Mm-hmm. We can't trust them. Which is why we can't do it the it above bold different. way. They are corrupt, and, and, and if we do it that way, by the time we get there, it'll be gone, or at worst, it'll be a trap, and it'll be harder to get out. And what if the Baron is involved in this? What if the government is backing this or need it? And it's not dread knives that you contend with, it's the city guard, and they have you arrested. And they fabricate whatever they have to to have you hung. What am I supposed to do? Well, ideally, I wouldn't be caught. I have no wish to see my son hung for crimes he did not commit, or crimes he did. Oh, Kyla. It's gotta happen. I am so close to the finish line. I am. And you don't think friends of your targets, or God forbid, family of your targets, will let this go and they won't spend their time trying to get revenge on you? You want me to be the bigger man? I want you alive. If these people are alive, what you're as long me? as I live and the higher profile I get, it doesn't matter if I'm in Giwen or here. We're already past that threshold of them poisoning me or waiting until I'm on a beach with my loved one. I can't handle this by the time I get to Giwen. If I am a lord, then, then, then there's no way to hide that way. What am I supposed to say to this? I'm just letting you know. I wanted to tell you. And I'm grateful, but what do I say? Good luck. I don't know. I told you back in Adwick that I would help you with this as best I can. That I understand that to deal with it the way that you have to isn't what I would prefer. 
What's the other option? Can't catch a fish by setting a bear trap. How will you deal with such people and crimes when you are low? <laughs> it's different. Is it? Yes. Will you employ people to do what it is that you want to do now? Only if I have to. If I was in charge, and this happened when I was in charge, and I was a lord, then I know I'm not fucking corrupt, right? My point is, my son, your enemies will not always be something you can reach out and give justice to. And once a man gives into temptation and deals with an threat or a situation in a way he wants to most that consideration and draw to that answer will always be present i understand what these people did to you you've told me many times but what happens when you come across people like this <clears throat> and they harm your children or they threaten someone, or one of your nobles, one of your loyal men. Will you employ cutthroats to murder them in the night? Will you be unable to find them inside of whatever village they've infested and poison the well? Rather than risk the ones you care about being killed. Will you allow people to be caught in the crossfire? Will you kill them as savagely as they want to kill you? What would you do? Truthfully. At this stage of my life, I have left a great deal of my reckless behaviors at the door of youth. If I had an enemy that was so hidden and infested and evil <clears throat> as these dread knives seem to be, I would try to make it my life's work to make wherever it is that I reside or my influence touches too difficult for them to get a foothold within. I would spend my life trying to make sure that what I have is untouchable because they cannot gain a foothold because of the kind of people I surround myself with. And if they're already Putting here, power. you'd drive them out first, wouldn't you? If they were already here, yes, of course. <clears throat> you know my worries, Kyla. I do. I don't want you to become bitter. I don't want the sword to be your first thought. I don't want you to be put so far to the edge to protect what you love that you become a monster for it. I've been there. I've almost reached that point before. They have to be handled. I love my son. And if you think that this is how this must be done, I will help you. 
I will help you however I can, because you are my son and you are my entire world. And I will not let these people harm you. But I beg of you, Kyla, to never let this be your first way to deal with things in the future, no matter how evil your enemy. I never intend to. These people. No one ever does. I have faith in you. Thanks. If I can help you, I will. I love you, I'm proud of you, and I'm sorry that this is even something you must consider. I don't want to do it anymore, I don't, but... They're too close, I'm too close, and there's no other way to do it. I can't negotiate, I can't do it lawfully, If you could get me things that I needed while you dealt with things out of sight. There are loopholes in the law that are there for a reason. We don't... We don't need that heat on you. We don't need the heat on the Erhards, right? We're already... The last thing we need is... Forgive me, my dear son. <laughs> but if you get caught doing this, we're all going to hang. It's... different than if we were to do it publicly as the marshal and as the lord and blah 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 because then even if we do deal with these people that we need to the lords that were getting a hefty lump of money by them will hate you or whatever unless we can take them down with them now it's my time to ask you when does that stop because i have a list of names and when they're crossed off it's done until we're able to look within our own walls and say it's safe. So when we get to Giwan? For now, Nordis is my priority. <clears throat> and there's plenty of evil still present here. Yeah. <clears throat> What can I do to help, Kyla? I don't know just yet. Just... I'm figuring it out in my own head. You know? I just want to... The pre-mission you know. jitters, as it were. Yeah. You're not alone. I may not be as skilled as you are in the way that you deal with things, but if you can flush them out into the open, I will come down like a hammer on an anvil with every legal ability I have. And I will make it all stick. You give me what I need, and I will meet with the Baron of Karbazra. As I trust him and his son. You focus on the riffraff and the cutthroats and the assassins. I'll focus on the nobles. All right. <clears throat> I just, yeah. At the very least, I want to let you know. You know, this is. I'm grateful you told me. And like I said, I will aid you however I can. I will set the net. And you will be the driving trap that pushes them into it.
It's going to be okay, my son. It's like walking a fucking tightrope. It's like walking a tightrope, but your father is below, ready to catch you. Have some faith in me. Who? I know I'm not involved in things the way you are. But I'm not naive nor foolish. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have everything that you need to head to your posting? Tonight? <laughs> yeah, I was um, just prepping Maelstrom, and I assume the lads will meet me out there. <clears throat> I'll run through some drills and whatnot, so it actually gain something out of it, rather than just me sitting in the woods with a bunch of guys on horses. Speak to your NCOs. <clears throat> Remind them of who you are. Tell them they've done well. That you expect more from them. And that you intend to lead them every time. Yeah. They will hear that and take it to heart. No fucking upstart jump fucking noble's gonna take them from me. Damn right, my boy. <laughs> Damn right. You two better be careful out there tonight. We will be. I have no doubt that this is some plot by Kovaz, but I don't know how far he'll go. But again... Even though I got them to... <clears throat> extend a time of war... into existence, returning my wartime judiciary responsibilities I still have to wait for them to put forth the paperwork that will once again secure the town watch and town guard under my command bureaucracy I just hope they don't hang you by that red tape huh <sighs> That's why I'm surrounding you with loyal men. And you've got a very angry Olena. So, I'm sure you'll be okay, but... It'll be the longest hanging of my life. She will not shut up. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll... You'll survive. This will all come to an end. This will all come to an end. And you will be able to breathe again. Hopefully. And all be all left in the past. Yeah. I love you, my son. I love you too. Have a dumb man. Yeah. Let's get you ready. Come on. I'll attack <clears throat> your horse. I was fighting, like, a while ago, some orcs. And I got, like, yes. thrown to the ground. Right in front, like, right behind Maelstrom. And one of the big grey orcs ran up and was about to, like, skewer me. And Maelstrom, like, kicked his fucking head in. It was so fucking good. It's a good war horse. It's kind of why I was... I have respect for you. ...panicking a bit when he got so wounded. Not proud of it, but... Your animals you bring to war... ...will be as much family as anyone else. Which is exactly why I spoke to Marin. And Marin made me pulls it aside and shows Gambison. Very nice. Yeah. Good.
We've gotten you a good owner, haven't we? Imagine if we didn't get our hands on you, you'd be pulling a plow for some fool farm that doesn't know he's a wars. God. Isn't it obvious? <sighs> Look at him. What a life, though. Um, you want me to... Well, I'll come back in the morning with everyone, I suppose. We can train them a bit better at night operations. You will wait to that encampment until Tiberius finds you. Okay. It's the, uh, the unused one, right? The one near the embassy? Wooden walls? It's... It's re-garrisoned as of today. Okay. I gave the order to make sure it was seen to. While I'm there, I'll do it at once over. Make sure it's all set up. Good. Alright. Put an extra saddle bag there. Some rations mm. and drinks. You're spoiling me. <sighs> I just know what it's like to be on duty all night. To be honest, on most of these nights I've been on duty in one way or another. <clears throat> and that saddlebag is a letter. You only open it if the worst comes to pass, you understand? Alright. <laughs> see you tomorrow. I love you, my boy. I'm proud of you. I love you too. I'll see you in the morning. I expect to hear all about the dress, and all that. <laughs> <laughs> you will, my son. Take care. Alright, buddy.